Generally speaking, your high school transcript and GPA are going to be some of the most valuable pieces of information that we have when we're completing an overall holistic review of your application. Ultimately, our job in the admissions office is to bring in students who are going to be successful in our particular academic environment, and the GPA has actually been shown to be the best predictor of student success in college, so it's something that we take really seriously. We do weight and recalculate your GPA based on standards that are given to us by the Massachusetts Board of Higher Education. I'll go into those a little bit further. But essentially what that means is that what you consider your GPA to be based on the way that your high school calculates your GPA might actually be a little bit different than what we consider your GPA to be after doing that weighting and recalculating process. The first thing to know is that we consider all of your core classes plus one academic elective per year. So what that means is that classes like gym, health, SAT prep, peer mentorship, something like that would typically not be considered in the GPA. If you have more than one academic elective that you've taken that year, then we will choose the one that has the better grade. We're always helping, uh, helping you put your best foot forward and wanting to look at the best that you're capable of. So once we figure out what classes are going to be included in the GPA, then we add the weight. So we add weight for classes that are taken at a higher level. That could be an honors level class, IB level class, AP level class, or a dual enrollment or college level class. So let me give a quick example. Let's say you took US history in 10th grade and you got a B. The GPA for a B is a 3.0. If you had taken that US history class at the honors level, that 3.0 would be weighted as a 3.5. If you've taken AP US history, that 3.0 would be weighted as a 4.0, which is an A. So in that case, it would actually jump up a full letter grade because of the fact that it was taken AP level. It's going to be harder to earn those A's and B's in the higher level courses, and we want to reflect that by adding weight to the GPA. So when you hear an average GPA at uh, UMass Amherst, keep in mind that it has been weighted and recalculated according to those standards. The Massachusetts Board of Higher Education standards are um, searchable online. If you do a Google search for MBHE admissions standards, within the first few sets of results, you should find a PDF that will lay out exactly what classes we want to see you having taken in high school, the classes that are included in the GPA, and how we weight. And this isn't something that's specific to UMass Amherst. All of the state colleges and universities in Massachusetts do this process exactly the same way. So it is really standardized. And um, every high school is also a little bit different, as I said, in how they weight and in the rigor of their classes and the classes that are offered. So you may be at a school that doesn't offer higher level classes or that offers them, but there's a limit to how many you can take. So rest assured that every school, uh, every high school shares a school profile with the colleges that their students are applying to. We have access to that information and we take that into consideration as part of the review of your GPA. So we're not just comparing two students to each other and choosing the one with the higher GPA. We're looking at what was available to you, what, what else is apparent in your application to help us understand who you are as a student overall. But that GPA is something that's very valuable to us in moving you forward in the application process. I also wanna take a moment to acknowledge the fact that most students will have transcripts and GPAs that were impacted by changes to grading policies during online and remote learning because of COVID-19. Lots of high schools went to a pass-fail system, some call it credit or no credit, and some schools continued with a traditional grading system. And even within that, there's nuance and there are all types of different ways of evaluating material um, given the changes to the traditional teaching and learning. So going into this next admis admission cycle and beyond, we will be working really closely with students and with high schools to understand what the learning environment was like, what the grading policies were, and how we can fairly and accurately ev evaluate your transcript and grades, even if we don't have those traditional letter or number grades. Mm -hmm.